This is a really good question. I think it's a really important question because, um, because there is a lot of, you know, if you eat vegan, it, it is, I did that for a while too in my, whatever I was doing phase of trying everything, you know, Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm an experiment with this too, because I had all these people telling me like, oh, vegan diets are the best. And it is really, really hard to get enough protein, um, fat and, um, nutrients in a V like if you're going to truly like truly do it well for women's hormones it is really hard to get enough nutrition that way and so people do a lot of times with that to get more protein they'll go to something like tofu right or tofu based uh food products etc and so um so what I will say is there are a lot of studies that show that soy especially for Caucasian women, like they've done studies on different like ethnicities, especially for Caucasian women, um, that is very harmful to the thyroid. And there's some mechanisms in there that we don't fully understand. Um, but the main difference that we see is, um, whether or not it's processed or organic and fermented. So a lot of the soy that we see in products like, you know, bread, noodles, um, granola bars, baked goods, you know, cookies, things like that is, um, is heavily processed, non-fermented soy. So it's chemically processed, made from the soybean that's drenched in chemicals. So, um, so not only are you getting the molecular mimicry from the soy protein that looks very similar to our own thyroid hormone. And so then our body's like, Hey, we're going to attack the thyroid hormone because we see that this soy protein, um, is actually really harmful. And so the body doing its job is after the soy, but it's also after the thyroid hormone does the same thing to gluten in some people. So that molecular mimicry is similar enough for some people that it will totally go after the thyroid, tank your metabolism and um, lead to all sorts of mineral deficiencies. So that's the first thing. If you are going to to eat soy, um, I recommend organic and fermented. Um, It needs to have that fermentation process for your body to be able to break it down. But even then some women just don't tolerate it at all. Like I get a rash on my forearm from soy. And I feel really bloated afterwards. Like even if it's, um, even if it's fermented, like not processed soy, I just don't, I don't feel good. So pay attention to how you feel with it. I would not have it as like my main like food source. Um, I mean, if you're eating it, you know, five times a week, then just be paying attention to, you know, how that impacts your, your metabolism and it may have no impact on you. You know, if it's, if it's organic edamame, then I'm going to be less, you know, protective of that than something that's not 